talking with Dr. Larry McCleary, uh, author of Feed Your Brain, Lose Your Belly. We talked a little bit about the revamped uh, pyramid, the food pyramid that the gov government came out with a couple years ago. Can you talk about how you would envision maybe your own pyramid and what, how that, those different, I, difference, uh, I guess, between you know, what they have out and what maybe we should be eating? Well, I think the major problem I have with the uh, food pyramid in its uh, current guise is that it tends to produce high blood sugar levels and high insulin levels. Now, why is that a problem? That's a problem because insulin is a hormone, and we all know it from diabetes. That's the hormone diabetics inject to control blood sugar. But it's also the fat storage hormone. So if we eat a diet that produces high insulin levels, that produces fat storage, the sticky fat cells that I was talking about. So if you are being told to eat a diet that produces sticky fat cells, you'll be hungry all the time and you'll end up overeating. So I don't see that as a solution to an obesity problem. So a reformatted food pyramid, in my opinion, would be um, a food pyramid designed to keep insulin and sugar levels low. If you keep the fat storage signal in your body low, then you develop fat cells that are not sticky, they release fat for your body to burn, and that's really what you have to do to lose weight. Can you touch on the sticky fat cells a little bit more and uh, talk about those a little bit more and how we uh, can avoid you know, that problem? Well, I think sticky fat cells, is, as you mentioned, are really uh, the focus of the obesity epidemic because when we gain weight, we don't gain muscle mass usually, we gain fat mass. So fat, getting fat, becoming obese is a disorder of fat cells. And we have about a billion fat cells in the body and when they get big, we get fat. So that makes it easy to think about weight loss. If we can shrink our fat cells, we can lose weight. And the best way to shrink fat cells is to allow them to release their fat energy for the body to use. If we eat a diet or make food choices that turn on the storage process of fat and fat cells, which is what I refer to as sticky fat cells, it's like having money in a bank and having the bank be closed on the weekend. You can't access it until Monday morning. Well, what happens if your bank goes on vacation and you never can access that money? Well, you'll be broke all the time. And that's what happens with sticky fat cells. If you keep making the same bad food choices day after day after day, your fat cells get bigger. It's like a one-way street. Fat goes in, it doesn't come out. Your brain responds by detecting an energy shortage and you end up overeating. And that's really uh, the essence of the obesity epidemic that we're in the middle of right now.